30,000 copies at the university and in the town. I mean, on record, gave out 30,000 copies. I mean, that is aggressive. That is powerful. That's the spirit that could save this country. And everything we've talked about, everything we've exposed in, 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 in hindsight has been proven right. And we are real. And that's why the New World Order hates us. They, they, they hate Fall the Republic. They hate the Obama deception. They hate Endgame because it is veritas. It is truth. It, it shatters the left-right control bridle, the governor system that controls people's minds and limits their thought processes. It shatters the fake environmental movement. It, it, it shatters the federalization of police and, and NORTHCOM. And I just wish I could somehow sit down and talk to every American and reach out to them. They've been brought up in tyranny incrementally. They psychologically are too afraid to admit the full magnitude of it. It's hard for me to admit it to myself consciously. Um, That's why a lot of times I I wake up almost every night at like 3.30 in the morning now, just laying there in the bed going, my God, this is so real. This is so big. This is so evil. And I am not perfect. I don't have all the answers. Uh, I get angry. I get primitive. Uh, I get very aggressive. And I, I try to govern it. It's almost like I want to stop jogging every morning because it just gets me more and more angry and more and more aggressive, the testosterone. Uh, because as a natural man, a red-blooded man, uh, when people are doing these type of bad things, I mean, it just creates not even rage or anger, just just more than fury, just like mechanized uh, will to grapple with these people. And I never said I was the man for the job. I'm in way over my head. But so are you. We are all in over our head up against an elite who studied how humans operate and are using psychology, sociology, anthropology, marketing, drugging the population, both overtly and covertly. And it's so real and it's so big. And to see the average person reduced by Madison Avenue to feeling insecure about themselves and to see the average person reduced and dehumanized and just turned into mindless vessels of, of, of dehumanization. And to know there's so many other wonderful, good people. I mean, I almost started crying last night when I was at that demonstration and I saw these families bringing their children up to me for me to shake their hand and I just look at their innocence. And I think about everything that our society's gone through, everything it's going through, everything it's going to go through. And I think about all the children, the New World Order's killing, cutting off their food and water and power supplies and stopping development. And it blasts me. I am I am like blasted. But like the winds of tyranny and it, and it, 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 it's, it's really made me stronger in a way is so much of my worldliness that we all have in the system has been just peeled away and torn back. But I'm still this primitive, weak creature. But at the same time, I have all these human attributes, all the good things that are in humanity, that, that, that paradox. And the more I learn about how people work, the more I understand about myself and others that we just would have had more time, more time to recognize this earlier. We would have listened to those 50, 60 years ago that warned us, God, it's horrible. People think perception is reality. They think what they buy into is what is the truth. And I've learned in my life to really try to search out what the real truth is. And I just realized that we are a culture of lies. A culture of people that have bought into so many lies and so many distortions 
And that's the offer of the New World Order. We'll drug you up. We'll give you entertainment. We'll euthanize you slowly. You know, it's the comfortable, easy way to go versus trying to be an individual in this high-tech grid and, and, and trying to figure it out, something I do around the clock. I dream about this stuff. I wake up thinking about it. I, I constantly have epiphanies and incredibly advanced understandings. And then later I read white papers written by top globalists that are as if it was written by me, but with the evil twist of that they're just openly stating it and saying it's good. And then to be verified, to be, to know I'm right, you know, I don't, I, I wish it wasn't true. So I know that human weakness of, of like just denial. No, it, it, it can't be. It, 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 it couldn't be. The New World Order is here to devolve and to rip apart and to trample and to stampede humanity. It is a panopticon system to turn the world into a control freak, sadistic, psychopathic paradise. A paradise of evil, a paradise of blood and torture and pain and humiliation. In fact, guys, Google for me, um, search engine for me, um, 1984 and the term trampling and being trampled on. I want that full O'Brien quote when he finally breaks Winston, and, and, that, and that's their religion. And he leans over Winston when Winston now believes 2 plus 2 equals 5. Because freedom is the ability to say two plus two equals four. That really is freedom. Just, and he leans over and he says, now you see, Winston, we are the priest of power, always pressing on the nerve of power. You know, you look at my body, the torturer says, the inner party member, as he leans over Winston, the little newspaper propagandist from the Ministry of Truth, and he says, you look at the lines in my face and the blood vessels in my eyes and how I look like the life is going out of me. But 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 that's the vigor of the overall species, the, uh, the, the psychopathic uber species that's going to just tear down humanity, stomp on humanity, annihilate humanity, just driving over it, stomping on the human face forever. And Orwell had been a secret policeman in India. He'd fought for the communists, found out that was all rigged. He'd been a top propagandist at BBC during the war. And I've read just so many of his essays and letters where he was talking about this is the real world. This is what they're building. But Huxley came along before he died and gave that Berkeley speech and admitted it's all real. The UN plans to drug you, dumb you down. My brother, you know, runs a lot of it at UNESCO. Julian Huxley. And Orwell had it wrong. It's going to be a trudgeon, black ski mask, boot on the face, but with an overlay of glitz and glamour and entertainment and drugs and drugging and, and genetic engineering. And, and, I mean, he wrote that in 33. Do you know how far past us these people are? 1933. I can't read Brave New World or Brave New World Revisited, which is a nonfiction because I see everything they're doing to us, and it's a joke. It's a sick joke for them to crouch on us and to sit on our chest and to beat on us and, 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 and to just throw it in our face. Put that Orwell clip back up for me, please. I want to read that on air. I saw that you did uh, successfully pull it up there um, for a moment, Matt Ryan. All right, this is uh, O'Brien while he is uh, torturing him. Oh, Jaron, you have it printed out? Bring it on in. Thank you, brother. This is O'Brien when he's finally broken Winston. And Winston loves Big Brother and is ready to be killed. They want you to thank them. They want you to love torture. They want you to love dehumanization, think that's good. All the movies and video games with the violence and where the evil guys are... 
vaunted and supported. Exactly. By making him suffer, obedience is not enough. Unless he is suffering, how can you be sure that he is obeying your will and not his own? Power is in inflicting pain and humiliation. Power is in tearing human minds to pieces and putting them together again in new shapes of your own choosing. Do you begin to see, then, what kind of world we are creating? It is the exact opposite of the stupid, hedonistic utopias of the old reformers. Of